farm, friends. Who ordered a blizzard? So, Mother Nature surprised us this morning with an unexpected blizzard. We thought we'd take a few minutes and show you how we deal with unexpected weather. First thing is, Dan was up at 2.30 this morning to start the tractor and then head out the door at quarter after three. And he plowed until 5.15 when he called me and let me know that the road was unpassable. So he's been out in the tractor since about three o'clock this morning and it is now 10 a.m. And we are going back out for another pass. So we've had lots of questions about what it's like to plow our road. The first thing we wanna tell you is that we have a 75 horsepower TYM tractor. Um, it's a 754 and that's what we use as our everyday tractor um, to help us plow this road. We just recently were able to acquire our WIFO uh, 102 pole type snowblower. Uh, the 102 is the largest uh, snowblower that they make. It's also what they refer to as an inverted snowblower because it's a pull snowblower. So you pull it behind your tractor and as you're moving forward, the snowblower is blowing the snow. There are a lot of snowblowers out there for tractors where you have to use the snowblower backing up, which wouldn't be a big deal if it was only a few feet, but where it's almost a mile, that just was not an option for us and it was not an option for Dan. You can see the WIFO beginning to work right there. Um, once it starts going, it really gets going. That baby can blow some snow and it does a great job even in those crazy winds. And so here what you see is what we see in front of us. This actually, Dan had only been inside for just a couple of minutes and you can already see the drifts coming in and um, just really coming in through the road. You can see the snow blowing around everywhere. It was a really, really scary day. Uh, gusts of 45 miles an hour that lasted all day long and never took a break. It didn't stop until eight o'clock that night. And so this video is really just to kind of show you what the 754 and the WIFO snowblower do together. And as a team, they're a pretty big power team and they've really helped us an awful lot. And they're the reason that we're able to get out of here in the winter for sure.
road is our star part of the road. You can see it's got protection from trees. So it's much nicer than the rest of the road. What you're going to see here is that Dan had to actually uh, switch the direction of the snowblower. So at one point the snowblower was blowing to the right. Uh, when we come around the corner the wind has changed because we've changed directions and so he's got to turn the snowblower to the left so that the snow is blowing with the direction of the wind as much as possible. Um, and that's something else that, that he's really been learning and honing in on. Um, and so but he, as soon as we turned that corner, he realized that the snow was going the other way. So he immediately um, slowed down the tractor and moved the direction of the snowblower so that the snow was blowing in the direction of the wind and not against the wind.
so here's the end of the road. You traveled one all the way, one way with us, and we're gonna turn around, and then we're gonna go back the other way, and we'll do the other side, um, and try to get anything that had blown in between out as well. So that was one whole length of the road. What we've noticed is that there's not a lot of videos about the 754 TYM tracker. So here, I just thought I'd take a couple of seconds and show you what the dashboard looks like. Um, so that's what it looks like. That's what you see. If you're a tractor person, you're gonna know what all this stuff stands for. Uh, show you the tires a little bit and just kind of show you the setup of the tractor itself. Uh, we've noticed that there isn't a lot out there. So anything we can show you guys, we're gonna try to show you.
Thank you.